Hello everyone. Uh, this is a part one of the lecture series uh, of the topic tracing of curves and introduction to rectification. So let us see what different curves are there, and we will know their uh, respective Cartesian and polar equations, and sometimes parametric equations also. So we all know from the school days or for uh, in eleventh and twelfth year you must have studied different uh, equations of straight line. and you have also must have plotted straight lines so the, here there are six types of uh, equations that we are considering uh, i am not going to much uh, talk about these two so what we are inter interested in mostly are these four equations so this is the equation of a straight line which is parallel to y axis and it will always have the equation of the type x equal to b so as a changes value Suppose x equal to uh, a is equal to two, then x uh, uh, this x equal to two will be the line parallel to y-axis at x equal to two. And if x equal to say minus six, that will be the uh, to the negative side of the uh, x-axis, and this line will be parallel to y-axis at x equal to minus six. Similarly, this line is again a set of uh, the family of straight lines. Uh, with the equations y equal to b, and these lines will always be parallel to x-axis. So as the value of b changes, the position of this line will change. So if b is minus 10, then the, maybe the line will be here, okay, and so on. Now for this particular uh, line and the graph of this line, the line is y equal to x, and this is a line which always passes through the origin and makes an angle of pi by 4 with x-axis. And this is uh, y equal to minus x. It is exactly the reflection or the mirror image of this line, and that is this uh, straight line passing through origin, making an angle of 3 pi by 4 with x-axis. So uh, next graph is uh, the circles. Uh, we also have seen the equations of standard circle and uh, gen equation of general equation of circle. So the first one is the equation of a standard circle where the radius is a. And the second equation is the uh, general equation of a circle. So that means if the origin shifts to some other uh, origin, from zero zero to some other origin, say minus g minus f, then this equation is the general equation of a circle. Uh, the polar equations are also given. Sorry. Okay. So now uh, next uh, four uh, graphs or the um, curves are. Uh, circles, but the origin is not at the uh, or the center of the circle is not at the origin that is zero zero, but they are at some different uh, point, say a zero minus a zero or zero b or zero uh, minus b something like that. So whenever you have circles uh, in this form, the centers have shifted to some other point on x-axis or y-axis, then the equation will look like this. So basically, actually, when the uh, origin shifts from zero zero to a zero, the change in this equation, basically, I'll write down. So this equation will become x minus a the whole square plus Y square equal to a square. Why? Because to complete this square, we added and subtracted a square to this equation. So we got this particular equation. So similarly, a similar equation can be written for even this. Okay. Now for um, let us come to this too. Is or we can call these equations as the circle. The circle has circle about x-axis. These two are the circles about x-axis, and these two are the circles about y-axis. Let us go to the next graph quickly. Uh, these are the polar uh, equations of circles. Uh, just quickly, you can have a look at the equations. They are uh, almost exactly the same as we have seen earlier. So I will not dwell much time on this. If you want, you can pause the video and check the equations. Okay. Next is parabola. <coughs> So you can see that these two parabolas are about x-axis, 
and then equation is y square equal to 4ax and y square equal to minus 4ax. So whenever your parabola is about x axis, your equations will be in terms of y square. And whenever your parabolas are about um, y axis, then the equation of the parabolas will be in terms of x square. So you have x square equal to 4by and x square equal to minus 4by. Now suppose the parabola shifts from the, the focus or the center of the parabola shifts from the origin. It goes somewhere else. Suppose for example, the parabola shifts here. And suppose this point is say h comma k. Then the equation of the uh, parabola will change. Okay. So the equation will be this y minus k the whole square equal to 4 times 4a times x minus h. So in a similar way you can also draw the remaining parabolas also. Let us go to the next uh, graphs that is cycloids. Uh, I have uploaded uh, one video uh, on Sports networking website which uh, will tell you exactly what is cycloid. Uh, so here we just understand the different types of graphs of cycloid. So what I want you to understand is you pause the video and you check that uh, I have written it in a uh, means I have stick this uh, graphs in a particular way. So I am calling this as graph number 1, I am calling this as graph number 2 and this as graph number 3 and this as graph number 4. So how you remember the equations? You remember that uh, these equations are first of all parametric equations because x, y are given in terms of t and uh, first two, these two equations are plus plus, these two equations are minus minus, these two equations are plus minus and these are minus plus. And if you notice all other things are exactly the same. They are exactly same all terms. The only thing which is changing is the signs. So if you even if you remember only this set of equations, you will be you can recall the second, third, and fourth type of equations also. So you always remember first that is x equal to a bracket t plus sin t, uh, y equal to a into bracket one plus cos t. If you remember this, the second one is without looking. You can say just write this with two minus signs. And for the third one, you write the same equations with plus and minus. And here. Right, same equations with minus and plus. Also, the first two are the cycloids which are facing downwards, okay, and they are about uh, they are facing downwards. And this is about a y axis, so the center is uh, in on the origin, and here it is shifted to pi, okay. Now, if these two uh, cycloids are facing upwards, and this uh, center is at zero, and this is at pi. Let us quickly go to the cardioid. So again these four are the graphs of card cardioid and you can see the equations again for cardioid are polar equations and these two cardioids are about x axis and these two cardioids are about y axis. If you look at the equation these the cardioid which are about x axis have cos theta and the cardioid which are which are about y axis have psi theta and if you see the equations are exactly same. Only thing is that the sign here is plus, minus, if it is facing to the positive side, it is plus. This is facing to the negative side of x axis, minus, facing to the positive side of y axis, plus, and facing to the negative side of y axis, minus. This should be minus, not plus. Printing mistake. Okay. Um, sorry. So that's it for this particular part. Uh, the next part will uh, we will talk about the what is rectification definition and what uh, what is the method for solving example using rectification method. So that's it for now. Uh, uh, the part two will consist of the rectification chapter. Bye.